So I'm playing with ChatGPT, trying to figure out if it can help me do my accounting. See if it can help me figure out what some of the expenses on this credit card that I'm trying to um, categorize and reconcile is. So I'm going to open up ChatGPT. I'm going to start a prompt with, I need help figuring out who a merchant in my credit card statement is. Let me just make sure I'm spelling these things correctly. Um, and uh, how to categorize it for accounting. Okay, so that's the prompt. I'm saying, um, trying to figure out who the merchant in my credit card statement is and how to categorize it for accounting. Press enter and it will tell me, sure, I can help you uh, give me the information of the merchant. Okay, um, so let me go into here. And let's scroll down and let's just grab something and let's look at this one here called Affleck. I know most people know what that is, but just for the heck of it, I'm going to copy Affleck in here, paste it, press enter, see what it tells me. So it says it's an insurance company, supplemental insurance. Um, so really good explanation. And then for the purposes of accounting, it tells you put it into insurance expenses. Good. Okay. So, so far, so good. Let's look at something that might be more uh, random like this. Pi. I don't know what this is. Pi. What in the world is pi? Let's put copy and paste, press enter, and then it tells me, uh, okay, so it could be different things. That's what it says. Okay, it says there's not enough information. Hmm, interesting. Uh, is it a fee or a payment made by? I don't know. Let's see. Um, let me tell it pi. Let's say pi is $90. So I'm going to say it's $90. Okay, so it says that there's not enough context uh, to know, but it says it might be right. Yeah, so not enough information. That's okay. We 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 understand it. <laughs> there's so much you could do um, with that. I, let, me, let me see if this helps. Whatever this is, um, um, additional text says. Let's see if that means anything. First to a debit made the Bank of Michigan, okay? Uh, so maybe a little, bit, some, little bit more information. So it was paid via Bank of Michigan, whatever that means. Uh, it says this is a, is a fee charged by the bank, possibly. Okay, all right, so yeah, they don't all win. Let's see what this is. FireMax Fire Pro. Okay, let's copy this. Let's see what FireMax Fire Pro is. And paste, enter, and it says, no, he doesn't know this one. Oh, yep, he doesn't know this one. Huh, come on, man, be helpful. Let's see this one. Let's see a uh, West Card insurance. Uh, looks like it's insurance. Let's paste that in there. Okay, so yep, it's an insurance company and it tells me here, that if, if I don't know the context of it, but it's probably a you know insurance expense. Okay, well, I guess insurance is easy. Let's see um, Eventbrite. Let's see Eventbrite. Let's see what does it tell me for Eventbrite. And let's paste that one in there. Mm, okay, so it tells me it's an online ticketing uh, management system. It tells me what it is and some of the context. Okay, if it's for an event, you know, it's a business expense. Okay, some information, or it could be marketing or advertising. Okay, um, not bad. Hold on, let me, let me, let me say, um, I need this format. Uh, merchant name and short description. Uh, and specific expense category for my business uh tax return something like that category maybe category slash deduction let's see understood okay so it's going to give me it's going to be much better <laughs> at, at giving me um answers see so, so now it's giving it to me in a different format okay pretty pr pretty interesting um let's see a different payee while well, that's still doing stuff let's look at this one FPL direct debit. Let's see if it knows what that is. 
I know what that is, but let's see if ChatGPT knows. Okay, yeah. Paste, enter. Okay, it's Fire Power and Light, and it's a utility company. Um, yeah. Um, please, just the simple format. Yeah, that's what I want. Right? Merchant name? <laughs> exactly. This is exactly what I want. Beautiful. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. It's pretty cool. Okay. Can't figure everything out, but it's getting pretty good. Okay. So look, Pi 401k plan. Let's say if we do it like this. Let's see if now I can figure out what that is. Let's just paste this and press enter. Okay. So I just kind of figured out that this is related to um, 401k. I guess it's pretty self-explanatory, but at least it tells me, you know, the, the, the category that it could be. Okay. Let's look at another one. Uh, SBA loan. This one, uh, this is going to be interesting. I wonder, uh, let's copy this whole thing. I wonder if it's going to know what this is exactly. Let's paste that. And it says, okay, it's an SBA loan. It's a loan payment. Um, and then it, it gives you some, some context uh, in terms of, you know, that the interest is tax deductible, uh, but, uh, and then let me see, let me ask, what do I do with the principal portion? What do I do with principal portion of the payment of the payment? Let's see what it tells me. Okay. Sh should be used to reduce the outstanding loan balance. It's not tax deductible. See, it's pretty cool. So, so it, it, it knows a little bit of accounting. Pretty fun. Okay, let's see what else we have here. We have anything else? It seems that this is a, a pattern. They all seem to be the same thing. But is there something new here somewhere? Okay, let's see what this is. Marlin Bank. I never heard of that. Let's just copy and copy that there. And let's do Marlin Bank. See what it tells me what that is. Mm, yeah, it doesn't know what this is. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't know what it is. I don't know what it is, but I guess, you know, it could be so smart. It could be so much. Let's see what this is. Intuit transfer. Let's see what that is. Intuit transfer. What in the world is this? Let's see. Enter. So, merchant name is Intuit. It's a transfer transaction. I don't know what it is. Okay, it tells you what Intuit is. So, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it can't quite um, replace an accountant, but uh, it's it could be helpful. Let's see if it knows what ADP wage pay is. Let's see if it knows what that is. Should know, but let's press enter. Okay, merchant name. No, that's not the name. That's not the name of the merchant. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's her. So yeah, merch ADP. So it's payroll expenses and wages. Okay, let's see what about ADP tax. Let's see what this is. See if he knows what this is. Okay, let's press enter on that. Mm, okay, well, that's wrong. <laughs> so it says this is probably tax preparation or processing expenses. So let's try something different. Let's try something different. Okay, I'm, I'm resetting the stuff from scratch here. Let's ask a different question. Let's say I have a long string of tax related to a credit card, uh, let's say an expense in my banks or credit card statements, can you extract just the real um, pay name out of it? Let's see if I could do that. I misspelled the last word there. Um, uh, okay, it says, well, I guess I could try. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's grab this thing here and put, um, try this one. Otherwise, it keep, keeps talking. Try this one. No, well, see, it, it was able to figure it out. Or no, maybe. Possibly. 
Okay. Yeah, that's kind kind of right. Let's see this next one. Let's see if I select this whole thing and paste it here. So yeah, so it tries to kind of if you put the whole string there, um, it 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 almost almost like it it gets close. Not really. Let's do this one. Um, yeah, Bank of America business card. Yeah, it's not bad. Okay, let's see. It's another one that we haven't asked before. Let's see if maybe we get lucky. Let's try that one. this one right here. Uh, where are you? Okay. Select all, copy, let's paste. QS Consulting, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. So, uh, okay, so that's something else you can, you can, um, you could try doing, see if it can, maybe it can help you just extract the pay name out of, out of the whole string. Hmm. Well, that was fun. Um, maybe not as useful as we think it could be but again i'm exploring all different nooks and crannies on how chat gpt is affecting or can affect accounting so i hope you found this useful play with chat gpt and i would love to know you know what kind of results you get